<clears throat> Alright, so this is Vodcast 7, getting down to the last uh, two sets of Vodcast dealing with those properties of minerals. This Vodcast is going through uh, a particularly difficult um, property for students to identify correctly, and that is cleavage or fracture. Alright, we're going to look at cleavage first here. Mineral cleavage is describing how uh, minerals break along weak planes of uh, bonding. And to give you just an example of this, we're going to go ahead and break some minerals here and see what happens. Now, what I've got here is a big hunk of halite. Right? And what we're going to do is see how this breaks with our little hammer here. Okay, and see if there's anything that we notice. So we got a bigger piece of uh, halite than that little one. So let's go ahead and break this and see what we notice about the broken pieces. Okay, so big piece of halite. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, so let's just take a look at this piece right here. This works pretty well. Now, what you should be noticing here, and if I can zoom in a bit more, is that the piece that didn't really look like it had any distinct shapes split in so that there are some really flat pieces here. We've got this edge right here, got this edge right here, and if we flip it up on the top, got the top and the bottom here. All right, these planes that they broke along are cleavage planes, and basically what they are are just uh, areas where atoms at the atomic level uh, were not held together well along this plane, or this plane, or the top and bottom plane. And again, a plane is a two-dimensional surface. <clears throat> you can see that also on this piece. You can see uh, it's nice and flat, and when, you, when it's flat, usually, I can get it to do it, it reflects light all at the same time. But I can see it. But anyways, uh, it broke into these really flat planes. So you can see really sharp edges and corners. That means that there are definitely uh, planes running through that mineral that are weak and can easily be broken. You can see there's really flat pieces. Right? That's a good sign of present uh, or cleavage being present. Now let's go with calcite. Kind of looks the same. All right. Not a whole lot different. Put on my glasses. Uh, let's see if we can get some big pieces out of this. There we go. All right. So, took that piece, broke it up. This is going to be a lot better example than the halite. And what we notice is that it broke up into these really flat, shiny faces. You can see that the whole sides glint at each other. Now, it's a little different than the halite because they're not perfect little squares. You can see that there's angles on these. All right, really flat edges, and you can even see inside of here there's this crack that runs parallel with the flat face on either side of it. That would be a plane of cleavage. In other words, if I were to hit this again, um, what would happen is I could slice this like a loaf of bread just like that, and it could break that way. Likewise, at a different angle, this plane right here, I could break it like so, because I have a side here and here. Here's a complete, again, this is a different plane than this one over here, because it's different angles. And also, the top and the bottom, if I rotate it 90 degrees, you can see that those are parallel. All right. Let's see here. Get the light to shine just right. Yeah, no. But you can see that these are nice and flat because the whole side glints at you at once, just like that. That's a parallel, that's a, a plane of cleavage. This is a different one. And then the side here. One thing that normally gets confused uh, with cleavage, how things break, is how things grow. If you think back, the very first thing you did with minerals was look at their habit. This is a big crystal of quartz, and if we look down it, we can see that there are six sides. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Okay. These can get very confused with cleavage planes. Right? Habit is how things grow. Cleavage and fracture are how things break. These broke along bonds uh, are weak planes. But if I were to take this and hit it with a hammer, right, you can see that it's been broken off here already, but these nice crystal quartz will break like so. Right? And these really wavy and uh, conchoidal uh, ways that really don't show any really flat faces like this. These have really flat faces and they just broke off another piece. Right. Very, very flat. Those are planes of cleavage. This, not. This is none. When they don't have any planes of cleavage, where it's nice and flat like that, it's known as fracturing. Fracturing is when you break it along planes or bonds that are not weak. Uh, in the fact of calcite, there are weak bonds that you can easily break, uh, break them along. Halite, same thing. But quartz has no weak bonds. So when it breaks, it breaks in random ways. We call that fracturing. Now you can classify fracturing and cleavage in different uh, styles. We're not going to get into that much. But this would be an example of fracturing, where there are no flat planes, just uh, kind of curvy and bumpy. Very good example here of how it broke. This definitely has cleavage, nice flat faces. Now you can um, describe how many planes of cleavage they have. And I broke that one off again. And describe this one as having being rhombohedral. But really what you need to be able to identify it has it or it doesn't. Now there are some minerals. This is a piece of fluorite. And if I try to break it, this is supposed to have really good cleavage in four directions. But it really didn't break that well. All right. If I was very, very careful, I might be able to get something like this out of it. Pure middle. And on your lab, you're going to see uh, the different styles of cleavage. Uh, pure middle is four. One this way, one that way, one that way, and one that way. But it's very, very rare. It's supposed to have it. It doesn't show up well. So they may also describe it as having really good cleavage like this, okay cleavage, like the, uh, the halite, or just really bad. Couldn't see it at all. All right, so we're going to do a lot of practice. Uh, please call me over if you are having trouble determining whether or not these have cleavage or not. Uh, this is by far the hardest skill uh, to identify properly. So it's going to probably require a couple go-arounds to master this skill.